Tiger Woods just finished the round of the Masters, didn't do too well, but you gotta get it up to the guy. He's almost 50, out there competing with the best in the world, but today we're gonna compare 97 Tiger versus 2024 Tiger and look at the differences, and more importantly, why we have to have these differences as we age. And let me know down in the comments what you think Tiger should do from this point on. Should he entertain the possibility of retirement? Should he just keep going until he physically can't do it anymore, which it looks like he's pretty close. And a real quick ask, if you could like, share, comment, subscribe, really helps the channel to grow but enough of that let's look at the golden age tiger versus the age of golden so on the screen we obviously have two tigers swinging tiger of 24 on the left side tiger of 97 on the right side and what really impresses me is the rhythm and timing of a swing it's about the same even though we have some changes that we're going to talk about today and you'll see the miss on the left side you'll see that ball careen off to the left side this is a miss that tiger has to deal with now because of plane issues but it really comes down to the lower body inactivity compared to where he was when he first came on tour and in his amateur days you can see those hips are really firing in the amateur days whereas the left side it's not firing as much now obviously we have some injuries that we'll talk about and we have a little screenshot to show you these injuries and we can relate it back to the swing changes necessary to avoid further injuries or at least keep the ones at bay if you can learn anything from this intro is the best in the world usually have the same timing and that's also the fact for us now there will come a time as we age much older that yes our neurological system slows down our muscle twitch speed slows down but for the most part of it you can see see it's the same timing and i bet you if we took a stopwatch they will be within microseconds of each other which is pretty impressive but let's break down these swings and look at what the difference is now and what tiger is fighting okay so we got some lines on the screen now i do understand that these are not the same camera angles so there's a limited thing that we can compare we can get the good idea based on these positions that we can see but we have to just work with what we have to so bear in mind but we have a couple of changes in the setup process already now we do have a slight more forward bend with tiger on the right side now three degrees is not a lot but it can make a difference for somebody with tiger's motion specifically with the amount of torque that he puts on his old motion so he has alleviated that torque by standing slightly bit taller and the key thing is we can clearly see that there is a centeredness change so if we go and draw a straight barney purple line where those two lines intersect each other we can see that the old one is slightly more favoring the toes and i don't think that this is a camera issue because if you look at the height of where they intersect each other and it definitely seems like the centeredness with tiger's old motion is more in his center of his body as opposed to the hips with the new tiger so the new tiger has that working against him because now with less hip motion and less lower body turn he is now a more upper body oriented player which is why he could be looking like a linebacker nowadays because he's recognizing i can't generate the club speed with my hips anymore i have to now generate generate it with my upper body and we'll see this as we get down into impact so we are going to leave the burning purple line to see how we move around that centeredness but if you take a look at the initial takeaway again maybe a camera issue but you can see that the tiger on the right side is a slight bit lower than the tiger on the left side i know that he is most likely trying to hit a fade on the left side and who knows the one on the right side he might be hitting the power draw whatever it is i have looked at his swing and this has been a consistency for tiger on the left side is now he plays this power fade now the problem with that is you can start to lose the golf ball either way pretty quickly depending on the timing of your hands and where that club face is relative to your target so as we take it on back we can see the top of his swing here we can see that the left arm is now much higher he's basically lifting it as he's coming up to allow that outside in motion where tiger on the left side he is right bang on on his upper plane line and we can see some clear changes with the club shaft so we're going to draw this one in red and we see tiger on the left side he's trying to match his plane line so we can just drop it and get that club in the slot quicker with the one on the right side we can see that that club definitely goes much further than the newer tiger but in terms of where the feet are pointing look at tiger on the left side versus tiger on the right side the club is still working on that same line so we can see that tiger on the left is purposely trying to play a fade now along with the hands being high we're going to do a triangle check and we can see the triangles are pointing slightly different so this is where his hands will point straight down through that center and we can see one is a little steeper 
and one is slightly flatter. So anything that falls right of this line will usually be steep with a path left unless you can activate the lower body to counteract the hand action. So if you look at the one on the left side, we see those hands are definitely getting outside of that line. Where the old tiger, we take a look at his hands, they actually go on the inside of that line. And if we take a look at where that club shaft is pointing, we can see that the club shaft is pointing over the golf ball on the left side versus the old tiger, it's pointing under the ball. Now you will also notice that Tiger's lower body, the newer lower body on the left side, is definitely pushing his weight further back. So now we take a look at how much of the body is on the left side of that centeredness line versus the older one. We can see there's less body over that left side line because even though Tiger is turning the same rate, we start to see this foot on the right side pushing up and this is what helped Tiger hit it so far. His lower body drive was what kept that golf swing together where the newer tiger doesn't necessarily have that lower body drive anymore so he has to play this with a predominantly upper body motion and here is a couple frames before impact we can see the difference on the right foot on the right side versus the right foot on the left side the one on the left side is more planted but take a look at the big difference here so we're going to replay this over and over again and i want you to look at the one on the right side notice how that drive up so look at the pant leg the pant leg moves left because there's so much force and he's not only going left but he is going left and up so this action here is what helped tiger hit it so hard and look at that left foot of tiger it's pulling back because it's just this immediate thrust at the golf ball which then allowed his hand path to clear under and work his way to the right so at impact let's, let's back up right at impact we can see that the tilting of the shoulders is a little bit more extreme on the right side versus the left side we're not getting as much tilt because of the injuries that he has sustained in his career from the old tiger and as we come on through we can definitely see this picture says a thousand words with the excess of tilt and we're talking about this angle here versus this angle here when you are tilting down your hands can now clear out in front of you and they do not cross over to the left side and we see them crossing out early to the left side versus here they will exit much higher because he is still relatively on plane here but look Look at the thrust of the body. Look at the right shoulder dipping down. He cannot do that anymore because of injuries. So I want you to watch the right side and I want you to look at how much abuse Tiger Woods' body has taken from this golf swing, specifically here. So imagine how many millions of golf balls Tiger has hit. It can only be a matter of time. Pair that with some issues that he's had in his past with the injuries and you are left with the Tiger on the left side who has a predominantly upper body motion. And we can double down on this on where the club actually exits so we're going to draw a club exit line versus a club exit line on the right side. Big difference. Now, I know there are some camera ch angle changes that could change these lines slightly, but they're not going to change them that much to bring them together. And then let's do a quick shoulder tilt test. So there's the top of his shoulders and the new one. We're looking at about 46 degrees where the old one we are looking at. Look at that, 60 degrees. So we have 14 more degrees of tilting, which will definitely do what? It's gonna put a lot of pressure right in that lower back. We're gonna put pressure on our left knee because it's receiving a lot of weight. We're gonna put pressure on our left ankle. We might even put pressure on our right shoulder to, to drive into that ground and absorb. We're definitely gonna put some pressure on our wrists, both wrists, and we might even put some pressure up in this region. But let's just take a quick gander at some of Tiger's injuries and see if it makes sense based on what we're looking at. So if you look at these injuries that Tiger has sustained and you look at where we drew those circles, they kind of match up now and it makes a lot of sense. So if you look at the left side of his body, he's had a left elbow strain, benign tuna removed, cyst fluid removed, ruptured ACL, orthoscopic knee surgery, MCL sprain, double stress fracture, Achilles strain, re-injured Achilles. Right side, we don't have as much, but it's still going on. We see the right side of the body. We're looking at pinched nerve in the back, microdisectomy, anterior lumbar fusion surgery, torn Achilles, and re-injured Achilles, and the and even in his neck, he's getting an inflamed neck, neck strain. And I'm pretty sure there's some wrist injuries there too as well. So you can see that the old Tiger motion was only a ticking time bomb to generate so much club head speed at such a young age and keep that going with his swing mechanics that he had. 
he had to sacrifice his body. It's no wonder Tiger has gone through multiple swing changes to address these issues. And keep in mind, that is not including his most recent injury where he completely destroyed his right leg. And that's his push-off leg. So you can see why now his swing has to be the way it is now. And is it world-class worthy? That's a question we're going to have to wait and see to answer. So what does this all mean for you? Well, we are looking at one of the best golfers that ever played this game slowly deteriorate due to his own doing. But let's face it, we're looking at 27 year difference between these two videos and look at the crowds. They are still out there watching him. So regardless of how he plays, golf still kind of needs this guy to sell those tickets. But I hope that helps you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And again, like, share, subscribe. If you do like this content, it really helps the channel grow. But enough of that, I'll see you next time. Fair Green.